Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I am testing out night mode or in this case as this is a OnePlus 6T nightscape against long exposure. To start I'm actually gonna take a picture in pro mode full automatically to see which numbers we are dealing with. As you can see the shutter speed is a 14 of a second, the ISO it's 3200. In a smartphone that will be a little bit bad. Let's check out the image. So this is the JPEG because it's taking JPEG and RAW at the same time. But let's zoom in to see what we have here. The noise it's not too bad but as you can see the sharpness it's really bad. And I know that this phone has have way better finesse than this. Let's check out then the raw image. So as you can see why it doesn't have any detail is because it's trying to remove all this noise. Let's photograph this on Nightscape and let's take a picture. I'm gonna try to not move too much okay and now it's compressing the images. So what the hell it's doing on night mode? It's really simple. It takes a bunch of pictures and transfers all the light information to one image. And you can do that handheld because it will combine the images trying to crop and align all the images together to pass the light information. So let's check out this image. I guess... It's way better, way sharper than 3200 ISO. That is not a big surprise. But if I check out the settings, details, you can see actually that the ISO it's 2500. I don't believe it's 2500. So I think it's the total of ISOs, one on top of the other of, of a bunch of images. Okay. Pro mode. The ISO, I'm gonna reduce it something like 200. Okay. That I know that it will be a sharp image. And let's go to the shutter speed and try to crank it up. Something like a half a second. Let's zoom in. And as you can see, it isn't sharp because it's picking up my the shakiness of my hand. So the solution for that is pretty damn simple. Get yourself a tripod. Now we are starting to see that uh, night mode has its own advantages here. So let's put this on the tripod. And let's take a picture. Okay. And let's zoom. It's way, way sharper. As you can see, the smartphone really can do a really sharp image. And let's check the raw file. Yes, really, really nice. One of the big advantages is that you, if you use night mode, you don't need the tripod, but you lost the raw image, so you don't have a raw image if you want to edit it later. Actually, there is a blue light there, so it's not really dark, dark, dark. You probably know that I do a lot of stuff with uh, long exposure on smartphones, like light painting, and photographing the Milky Way and stuff like that. And I am a little bit skeptic about this night mode. Its real use was invented to photograph deep space photography and that makes a lot of sense. As I know how it works, I am wondering if it works well or not with moving objects. So I am wondering what the hell it will happen when cars are moving around. So let's Let's put that in theory. That was um, really awkward. Uh, it, it's kind of a ghost. So let's try long exposure. <laughs> I need cars to take pictures, so while I am waiting there is no cars and to talk I don't want cars because there is a lot, a lot of noise, so yeah. It's green people, it's green. Yes, 
white car in the same situation as the other photo. Yeah, nice. So we get this. That was really nice and dandy, but let's go somewhere in complete darkness. I'm gonna go to a park. So finally I am getting into the park. I did a lot of videos here during the day, but during the night not really. And the strangest thing is that people, local people say that I shouldn't go here because of uh, it's too noisy. I am crossing the bridge, the river, it's too noisy. So, um, as you can see here, let me just turn the camera around. This is a gate. Really funny story. Once lived a princess over here that... Wait. What the fuck was this noise? You like Alcon? Hello? So everyone, here we are in the park. I am terribly sorry about the lighting. I cannot boost the light more than that because I'm afraid the, I didn't charge the Mirfak after doing the video review about it. I don't have a lot of battery, so I put it at the 2% power and it's a bit dark. So stick a little bit with me, okay? As you can see, we are in the park. It's extremely dark and not that much because we have the light of the moon. So for long exposures, this will work really, really well, but for night mode, we have to check that. So let's try. I don't know if you can see the, if you can see the, the, the cell phone here. So for long exposure, I got to choose 400 ISO and 30 seconds of exposure. And let's take a picture. Three, two, it's not in the level of the camera. There we go. So three, two, one. And it's capturing the image. So 30 seconds to absorb the light and what the fuck? I will be back. <laughs> I will be back. So it wasn't kids, I guess it was an animal or some sort. So let's take a look at our picture here. Nice. Okay. Now let's try out handheld with night mode or nightscapes as a, as OnePlus call it, calls it. Okay, bad boy, do some magic. That was fast, okay. Let's see. Okay. I guess we found a limit for this bad boy. Yeah. So everyone, here we go. Comparing it with the, uh, the long exposures, we can see that the night mode, it's not as effective has the long exposure, but that is quite expected. I guess night mode on smartphones, it makes a lot of sense because you just want a quick picture. It's not a professional camera, but if you have a professional camera or if you are a photographer geek as myself, you probably will say, I prefer the long exposure because I have the control. Yes, because you also have the knowledge to use it. If you want to learn uh, exposure and long exposure and stuff like that, there is a playlist that I made, Photography Understanding Exposure Masterclass. So check that out if you want to really get to pro level of knowledge of uh, photography. Check that link over there. Yeah, there we go. Before I run out of battery on the, on the light, let's hit home. So one last thought about uh, night mode that I don't really like is not having the ability of photographing in RAW. Wait a second. Can you see this? 
I guess you can't see this. So, there is a door here. Let me just, uh, let me just put that there. I swear that I never saw this door in here. Huh. Um, so, uh, there is something out there. I never been here. I am finding out some stuff new on this. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, let's hit back. Let's go back. This is really strange. Let's go back. Um, where is the fucking door? Where is the door? I can listen the river over there, so let's go. So there isn't no more wall over there, only a fence, okay? Um, but I know that I am getting closer to the river because I can listen to it. The most annoying thing is that I just lost my tripod, the U-Rig Metal also, god damn. Um, I have to come back here during the day and hopefully it's still there. One annoying thing about uh, long exposures and probably night mode is that I don't have no more battery on my cell phone. So I am completely lost and I don't know where the fuck. I don't know where I am. That is a problem. Oh, sh shoot! Damn! I guess the, um, the Mirfak just ran out of juice, but um, I think I can see something. Wait a second, this camera has night mode! Let me just check here. Up. There we go! There we go! We are in business! Okay. I can't see anything, but you, little camera, can! And I don't see shit. So, next to me usually was a fence, now it's nothing. But at least I know where I am putting my feet. So let me just uh, boost a little bit the exposure of this camera. There we go, much better. Much better. Okay, okay. Um, I don't have the time. Um, I am walking now by, I guess, I guess uh, at least 20, 25 minutes that I am walking down the river and I never see the river. I don't recognize this place and um, Wait, 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 uh... Water! So, let's follow the river then! Just follow the river, you get to society, Miguel! Haha! <laughs> Bear Grylls would be proud of me! Yes! Hey, wait a second. Oh my god, it's the bridge. Yes, it's the bridge! 